What's up guys? Welcome back to the Ultimate Tech Hub. So guys, let me ask you a question. What do you think is the most important and effective upgrade you can make to your old desktop computer? Leave your opinions in the comments below. I'll wait a second. Better yet, hit pause, type out your answer, then hit play. All right, in today's video, we're gonna do two things. First, we're gonna discuss that important upgrade, and then we'll show you how to install it, step by step. So once again, what is the most important upgrade you can make to your old desktop PC? How about a new CPU? Nah. How about a new motherboard? Nope. I got it. How about a new power supply? I don't think so. What about some new RAM? Gotta say no. I got it. What about a new GPU? Not unless you got a box full of cash. Ugh. And that leaves us with the only upgrade you can make to your old desktop PC as effective and will make an immediate performance difference, especially when it comes to faster storage and boot times. Did you guess correctly? You probably did. I have the smartest viewers on YouTube. And the answer is an NVMe SSD. And for all the doubters, let me explain. But first, what is an NVMe SSD? NVMe stands for Non-Volatile Memory Express. Non-volatile means that the storage isn't erased when the computer reboots. And Express refers to the fact that data travels over the PCI Express interface on your PC's motherboard. So why is an NVMe SSD the best choice to upgrade an old PC? Well, NVMe drives are much faster than SATA drives or traditional hard drives, resulting in faster boot times. The current PCI 3.0 standard has a max speed of 985 megabytes per second on each lane. NVMe drives utilize four PCI lanes, which theoretically gives a max speed of 3,940 megabytes per second, while the fastest SATA SSDs top out at 560 megabytes per second, making NVMe SDs the best choice for faster boot times and read and write speeds. And there is a PCIe 4.0 standard, but that's for a different video. And depending on which size you get, you'll increase your storage capacity, and more storage is more better. And that's why an NVMe SSD is the best choice to upgrade your old PC. NVMe drives come in a couple different form factors, an M.2 form factor and a PCIe 3 form factor. And today, we will show you how to install the M.2 form factor. We're also gonna migrate our OS and all our data from our current SATA SSD, which is a Samsung 2 terabyte 870 Cubo. And just a heads up, our Sabertooth X79 motherboard does not have an M.2 slot, so we're gonna put an adapter in it to make this all work. And we're gonna install the SK Hynix Gold P31 SSD. It's also two terabytes. And the only downside to NVMe SSDs is the price, especially over one terabyte. And this puppy is two terabytes, and it's priced at $244 on Amazon. And of course, there'll be a link in the description below to where you can buy it. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so what we have here, I just put together the adapter and the NVMe will go in here and, oh, also heat sink. So this is like a foam sticky uh, tape put on top of the NVMe. We'll put this on top, attaches. It does suggest some rubber bands to wrap around this. Uh, I'll look and see if I have rubber bands. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and pull out the NVMe and show you guys what that looks like here. And here we go. This is the SK Hynix P31 2 terabyte NVMe SSD. Very careful. And there we go. And what we'll do is we'll show you how this works. Insert it in here, like so, and then we'll use a screw to secure it. Before we do that though, I'm gonna go ahead and put the heat sink on here. All right, the, the pad is already on here. I, I just went ahead and attached that. Basically just pulled this film off and it's got sticky on there. Sticky adhesive, and now let's place this on top. Put this down and place this on top, yeah. Okay, all right, the NVMe is inserted and now we have to actually just mount this down with a screw. It's much easier to take this off the bracket first than secure it. I found that out. 
There we go. Secure. Heat seek is on, looks good. Should be good there. Attach this back to the bracket here, and we're good to go. So I did attach the two rubber bands off camera. This keeps the heat sink from detaching from the NVMe. And one more thing, make sure your PC is turned off completely before installing the NVMe. And I recommend using anti-static gloves. And gently push it into the slot, and that's it. And yes, of course I know, my PC is very dirty. Way too much dust. I'll make sure to give it a good cleaning after I'm done with this install. Okay, now we're going to power on the computer, log in, and then go to disk management. Let's get the SSD set up. All right, guys, after we installed our NVMe, we need to actually initialize it. And we're going to initialize it in GPT. Okay? So we'll do that. Hit OK. Now we're online, unallocated, we're good here. And so what you want to do now, right click, and you want to do simple volume. And then we're going to do we get that, and then we will guess, and then finish. And there we go. This is our NVMe, it's online. And now here's the fun part. We're going to do a performance test on both SSDs, the new one and the old one and then we'll compare them. We're running AS SSD Benchmark, and I downloaded the English version, but this appears to be German, I think. No worries, I'll go ahead and add the English captions. And you can see the read and write speeds are off the chart, and the bottom scores are really high. Let's go ahead and benchmark the Samsung SATA SSD. And you can already see a big difference in read and write speeds. They're a fraction of the NVMe speeds. And the final score for the Samsung 870 Cubo is quite a bit lower than the NVMe. And to be honest, it's not even close. So after doing a performance test on both SSDs, the NVMe SSD outperformed the SATA SSD by huge margins. As far as the review goes for the SK Hynix Gold P31, we highly recommend it. The only downside is the price at $244. But with two terabytes of storage, you're not going to run out anytime soon. And of course, there'll be a link in the description below to where you can buy it. So like I stated at the beginning of the video, we wanted to make this NVMe a bootable storage device. The plan was to install Windows on the new SSD or clone the old one to the new one. And by the way, a fresh OS install is always recommended, but cloning is an option. And so to make this happen with our current motherboard, the Sabertooth X79, we needed to flash the BIOS with a cat file. And this cap file will allow the BIOS and our motherboard to see this as a bootable drive. But at this point we had an issue. Our BIOS did not see this as a bootable drive. And rest assured we tried two different cap files but to no avail. Our BIOS would just not see this as a bootable drive. And I even tried forcing the BIOS to boot this SSD by removing the old SSD and that didn't work. And after further research we came across a workaround for the BIOS updates. And here's a post I found showing these steps. However, at this point, we opted not to proceed because of the risky nature of flashing your BIOS too many times. Especially with an older motherboard like ours, the Sabertooth X79, I didn't want to risk it. And sometimes you've got to weigh out the risk versus the reward. We chose not to risk it. And ultimately, we decided to use this NVMe as two terabytes of additional storage. But there is some good news. We're going to build a new PC in a couple of months, and this will be our bootable drive for that PC. Well, guys, I hope you learned a lot about NVMe SDs so you can make the right decision for your PC needs. And like I said before, an NVMe SSD is the clear choice to upgrade an old PC. And we also want to thank all of our Patreon supporters. We truly appreciate you all. Thank you so much. And if you're not a patron yet, please consider joining our Patreon for $2 a month. It helps keep this channel going. And also follow us on Instagram and LinkedIn. And consider joining our YouTube memberships for some awesome perks, including priority comment replies. And once again, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. And remember, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.